He just did this one. So this is fake. This guy from the dollar store. It was only $32. Awesome, right? Hoping it doesn't tip over. Um, but I just planted petunias around it. So we have purple ones and this like yellowy white. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I was just carrying all these. Um, so I got those in there. And then I was going to put these pink ones in there, but I think that's going to go somewhere else. These planters, I'm going to empty them out and put these guys in. These are Vin Vinca. So I got three of those, so one in here and two in here. And then these guys, I got four of. These are called... Laguna Sky Blue. Everything, by the way, I purchased at Walmart. Um, but I got four of these and I'm putting them in these planters. So two in each. And yeah, here's the baby. You wanna go watch inside? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Wow, so demanding. Okay, take your shoes off, please. Mommy's gonna be out on the deck planting, okay? I'm so tired. So, just me and Liam because Tom is sick. He has COVID. Oh boy. That's why the couch is like this because I had to sanitize it. And um, I washed all the pillows and everything because he slept here last night. But now he's banished yeah. downstairs in the basement <laughs> away from <laughs> Liam and I. So far, yeah. So far, Liam and I are good, so it's fine. Actually, I think, I mean, I know I sanitized it with like Lysol, but I think I'm gonna actually take the cushions off of this one because he was on that last night. So I think I'm gonna do it now. Um, I'm tired, I'm so tired. Those planters are heavy. Those planters are heavy because um, they're like, what's it called? They're cement or 
um, concrete-ish. I have like a pimple there. It's so annoying. Okay, anyways, hold on. What do I watch? Netflix or Disney? Disney. Zootopia, Panda, Dino. Okay. All right, I want to work on these cushions here. I didn't realize it's like four separate things in there and I don't I wanted to kind of space it out um, because I know these ones get really full so I only planted four in there and then two in here and yeah there you go and these actually do um, get a little bit taller so yeah that's why I did that also this is gonna stay on the deck I don't want it completely sticking out because the petals on these fall off really really quick I had them last year and um, with the wind and everything, I didn't want it to just like, I don't know, get ruined right away and all that. So anyways, there you go. Again, they do get taller. So yeah, I wanted to keep it kind of like lower in there. We'll see how it goes. Um, okay, now onto the blue ones for those planters. Here they are. I love this. It's so pretty and so vibrant so pretty so yeah i just planted two in that and then the other two are over here so pretty and then yeah i still have all of these i do have planters um out front so i can put those in there here is my wishing well you guys it's so hard to show you but here it is for now I do need to prop up the planter that's in there just so you can see the flowers better but yeah I wanted to wait a few days to show you guys because you know the flowers don't look that great um, right when you plant them but they're looking better now it's been a few days and they're actually like standing upright and everything and then these are starting to get longer and kind of like flow over the well so yeah i'm really excited um this area is not done at all we are actually getting rid of this and putting in more hydrangeas there's one two three two hydrangeas and then one geranium and i'm gonna add another geranium on the other side and then this is gonna be gone and this is going to be moved over and then there's going to be a hydrangea right here. So it's still kind of a work in progress, but so far, here's my wishing well. 
I think she's so cute. I will link it down below for sure. Um, the plant up here, I don't know what's happening. I think I'm gonna take these two out. They're not very happy. But the purple one's doing well. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, I might just replace it with a petunia, like a hardy petunia. That one does really well. Um, I think it's just like a small thing or too small for those flowers. So I don't know. Um, but I love this wishing well. It's so cute. It's so hard to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> maybe this way. Yeah, it's really hard to show you, but it's so cute. It reminds me of Animal Crossing. I love it. So yeah, that is my wishing well. And then over here, I have this fake tree. This is also from Amazon. Um, I just have it propped up by like a planter. And we're going to fill this up with rocks. Um, we're getting rocks in for all of our gardens this week. So I am really looking forward to that. And we're just going to fill this up with rocks. Um, and then this, look at it. It's coming up this is my belgonia bulbs i planted three of them and two out of three is coming up here's one of them this is the very first one that started coming up so i'm really really excited so you were supposed to plant this between april and may i did it towards the end of may and it is now june and that's what we have so far this guy needs to be watered it looks like <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's what I have in this corner. Um, I'll show you the other Belgonia. Here is the other Belgonia. Do you see it? Two little baby sprouts right there. So that's the other one that's coming up. Really happy. I can't wait till it starts, you know, flowering and everything. Um, this is just a watering can decor. I'm thinking of putting flowers in it eventually. I don't know. Um, Tom needs to seal it better because... I thought it was a watering can, but it's really just for decor. It doesn't hold water at all. <clears throat> so he's going to silicone it or something, and then I can put soil in it and plant. Um, this one I just did. Oh my goodness, so beautiful, right? So this hydrangea I found at Walmart. It was $15. Um, and it's so pretty. And yeah, I just potted this one. The planter is also from Walmart. It was 25. So all together it was 40. Um, I just, I love it. It needs sun. So we will see if it's going to stay here in the front, by the front door. Um, I might move it to the deck because it gets more sun out there. Um, this needs at least six hours of sun. So we will see how it goes tomorrow. Um, I think there's this side of the house gets sun but i don't think enough so yeah i might end up moving this to the deck but for now it's here by the front door and i just watered it and everything it's so pretty oh my gosh i definitely would have bought two but they didn't have another planter they only had this one so i'm gonna you know keep a lookout and i might end up buying another one i just i love it love it so much um and then this is the other bulgonia. I wanted to have some sort of flower here, so I put my other box planter over here. But this one's not coming up. I don't see anything, and I like dig, dug in there a little bit to see the bulb, and the bulb is not doing anything. So I'm probably just going to get rid of this, and if anything, I'll buy one of those <clears throat> hydrangeas and just put it in here. Um, but yeah, here's what our front porch is looking like. We added a little owl because... We noticed birds have been coming up over here and there's bird poop right there and there was bird poop by the door, the front door. I was so mad. <laughs> so we got a fake owl. Sushi does not like it. Every time she sees it, she barks at it like no other. Um, but it's working. There hasn't been any new bird poop. I need to wash that out. I got to get the hose and everything, which is all the way in the back. It's like a hassle. It's this why it's still... There's still bird poop there, so I'm sorry, guys. But, yeah. Um, anyways, aside from that, it's all good. We have yet to move this. And then these, oh my gosh, I need to plant. So I thought this was alive, but it's not. Clearly, it's dead. This one, we can't figure out which one it is. We don't know if it's this one or if it's that one. But it's alive. It's, it's right there. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep it. We'll see. I've been watering it. Um, this one is alive. 
It is um, ice cream dream Shasta Daisy. So this is actually going to go in the back garden. So I will be planting that uh, maybe today. It's really hot though. So I don't know. Um, I might do it today once the sun kind of goes down a little bit. It's really sunny in the back. So that's what's happening here in the front by our front porch. I'm loving it. I didn't take out the cushions yet because it's been raining. Um, today is the first day this week that it hasn't rained, but yeah, loving it. I did change out my wreath as well to my summer wreath. I love those sunflowers. Um, so yeah, I really love this. Oh, just that pop of color. But see this one, the begonia, that's going to be a lot of white. So it's going to be really nice, but I do think I need, I need another one of those. Yeah, one more. Maybe another, I don't know. <laughs> I just love this. And that cute little fake tree, it's so cute. I love it. So anyways, that's that. Let me go around back and show you what's on the deck. Okay. We're coming up to the garden. Oh my goodness, look at the weeds. Yeah. We're gonna have to pluck some of these weeds out. Again, we're getting the rocks in this week. So once we put down the... What's it called? Like the matting thingy. It should kill the weeds. Um, so, yeah. But hydrangea is looking good. This guy, I think it's dead. That's where I'm going to take that out and put the daisies there. We have the lavender going well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we got some lavender. My daffodils, they're done blooming. <laughs> um, here's the other lavender coming up there and the other hydrangeas very happy love this i can't wait to get rocks in so you don't see the weeds oh my goodness okay back over here <clears throat> so this is on the side of the deck again daffodils are done blooming um this one is the almond it's also done blooming i think I don't see any more flowers, but it's getting bigger, which I absolutely love. And let's go up here. Here's the other owl, because we also, as you can see, we have bird poop. So I don't know if this one's working. <laughs> but we have these guys. It needs to be watered. I'll do that in a sec, but love these blue guys. Look how blue it is. It's so pretty. It's like sapphire blue. So I have those in my long planters. This one's super happy. Yeah. These are much bigger than the other ones over there. And then over here, let me show you. I forget what these are called, but I love these. The, f the leaves on them are so nice and big and smooth. And yeah, they're flowering. And these ones flower all summer, so that's great. I don't know, this one, not very happy. But these guys, you guys remember this? This was the tiny dollar ones. And these are the five dollar ones. I should have just bought these because look how happy these guys are. It's gotten so big. This one's happy too. And that one, but this one, I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> why are you not getting big like the other ones you know so yeah and this thing is fake by the way <laughs> so that's that everything's happy but this guy why maybe I should turn it around I don't know here that's a different there maybe you'll be happy on this side who knows because like yeah this one's gotten so much bigger, but yeah, this one's just not having it. And I could put one more there too, because I don't know, that one's just not getting any bigger. Okay, and then I have these. I don't think I showed you guys, but I love these. I put my other petunias here. This is one petunia. Look how big it's gotten. And then these guys, I had three left or six left. So I put three on the side and the petunia. I could have just done petunias. <laughs> but then here's the other one. And these planters, $10, you guys, at Dollar General. So good. I love them. And here's the other owl. But I still see bird poop. I gotta tell Tom, it's not working here on the deck. 
because there's literally bird poop right there. So, I don't know. I'm not happy. <laughs> okay, let me show you down this way. <clears throat> By the way, I had like an idea of a pathway to the bonfire place over there. I don't know. I had like a I have a good idea. I showed it to Tom. I don't know if we're going to do it. So I'm not even going to tell you guys yet. But that would be cool. Anyways, my, um, can you see it? It's so hard to show you. This is called a stibble, a still bee or something. Um, it's happy. It's gotten bigger. I don't know if it's going to bloom, but I do see some buds there. I think it's like a reddish, maroonish color. So that's that. And then these are catnips. They're getting bigger. Those guys. Okay, hard to see that guy and this guy. And then my lavenders come in. So yeah, we had to trim it down this um, this spring. So, but they're coming back up. So that's great. And that's another one. So yeah, love those lavenders. Not sure if they'll get big this summer, but for sure next summer. Um, but yeah. So that's what's happening there. Show you guys this bush right here. Very, very happy. It's so big. I think Tom actually trimmed it this time around. Um, but yeah, she is starting to bloom. You can see all the red buds. Really pretty. And it kind of overhangs, which I love. Look at this. I love it. It overhangs. It looks so nice. Yes, and it's actually, it smells really good too. So yeah, I cannot wait until this one blooms. It's gonna be really nice. I'm guessing probably this weekend. It's only Tuesday, so maybe by Saturday it'll be nice and bloomed. <laughs> 